So this border patrol guy on that four wheeler right there just come up and told me I wasn't supposed to be out here. Now there was a, a sign up there that said no unauthorized vehicles that he noted also. I seen it, but it was up against a fence and I thought it meant up against the inside that fence. It's easier to ask for uh, forgiveness and permission sometimes. But uh, if you look, I'd stopped right there and I was trying to get to the border right there where the ocean starts and it goes straight up, I don't know if y'all can see it, up that hill and there's no way I can make it. He told me there's another way I can get around there on my bicycle. So let's go check it out. Hey, what's up guys? So I'm down here in uh, South California, still. When I say South California, I mean this is as far south as we can get because there's the border right there, right at the mountains. And uh, as you can see, I tried to go a little further, but that didn't work out so well for me. The weather's been beautiful here. I've been down here, what, a month now and kind of don't want to leave. Loving it. Um, a couple things I want to talk to you all about. And first, uh, first I'm going to do a shout out for Bill Sacklemeni. Um, it was awesome uh, hanging out with you guy. He opened his home up to me. It was awesome. He's a viewer. Uh, he let me wash my van there. Um, my van needed washed so bad. It's been six months. And uh, when I got here, I thought I was going to do it when I got here. And most of the places all around the city were made for cars and not really the kind that you can pull in and wash yourself, even though I hate that because it took me about four hours to wash it. And uh, it's looking pretty good now. It's never been that nasty. I couldn't even believe I let it go that far. It was crazy hard to wash, but it's done now. And uh, maybe we'll let it go about three months this time. But uh, again, I want to thank you, Bill. You and your family were awesome. Fed me the most awesome Chinese food. That was cool. That was really cool. Uh, another thing, there's a van meetup next Saturday, the 28th, Fiesta Park. Uh, that's right there in San Diego. Um, I'm going to go out there for the day. It's not my meetup. It's something they do about once a month, every couple months. And supposedly there's be, supposed to be like 50 to 100 vans out there. So uh, if y'all want to meet up, come out there and check it out with me. I'm going to actually put up a little uh, booth if I can and um, uh, maybe try to sling a couple shirts and decals to some vanners. That would kind of be pretty cool. I don't know if I'm allowed or not, but I'm going to, I'm going to get in there and uh, do it anyway. What I say earlier, it's uh, easier to ask for forgiveness than permission sometimes. Um, but yeah, if y'all want to come out, because I know there's like 12, 10 or 12 of y'all that's from this area that's reached out to me. So that'd be probably a cool place to meet up and uh, chill. Bring your vans if you got one. If not, come out anyway. Um, so that Border Patrol guy said that uh, I can get to the ocean about a mile where that gate is down there. So what I'm going to do is uh, got my bike out, drop my bike, and I'm going to go down there and see if we can make it out there and check it out. Let's go. This looked like it was once a beautiful park out here. It's all overgrown. I've been out here a couple hours, absolutely nobody out here. It's kind of weird. And uh, there's the border wall and the Tijuana Lighthouse. Now, they're partying over there, loud music. Here's a lot of people and absolutely nobody out here. Beautiful, beautiful view. I say nobody out there. There's the border patrol guy. There's been a few of them out there, up and down, obviously. But these views are amazing. I thought about going uh, over to Tijuana today, and the border actually uh, closes at 2 p.m. I don't usually get up. I mean, early so I get up is noon. I mean, so unless I want to stay over there for the night, and I really don't. But uh, it's awesome. I'm gonna hang out here a little bit. I really like to watch the sunset here, but uh, it's like the trails that get in here are like flooded and stuff, and it says that they're uh, it's sewage water from over from Mexico, and I guess that's probably why the park's closed. Makes sense. But uh, I don't want it to get dark because I don't want to navigate myself through that. I had to go, kind of go around in the weeds and the, 
and uh, one part has a little trail to go around it. But again, I don't want to navigate through that. So, uh, but I'm gonna hang out here a little bit, enjoying it. Beautiful, amazing. So this is actually uh, the beginning of my trip up the coast right here. And there's the, where the border touches the water. The wall goes, fence goes right into the water. And uh, Mexico side goes under the water, the United States side don't. But this is also the end of the Mexican uh, border where it touches the ocean. And three months ago, I was 2,000 miles on the other end at uh, right below South Padre Island. That's kind of pretty cool too. Again, for those that want to, meet me out at uh, Fiesta Park next Saturday. I'm gonna be out there probably about 10 a.m. That'd be pretty neat, I think. Uh, and I'll be out there at least till dark, probably a little after dark. So come on out. If you all wanna meet up, that'd be awesome. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this. Y'all hit that thumbs up because that's how we roll.